Hi guys, so latest little gadget I'm trying out at the moment is a Vario. Uh, it works, it measures variations in air pressure, so it works like an altimeter. The higher you go, the lower the air pressure, so it can measure your altitude. Um, the main reason for this, if I show you this here, this is the laminated card that I take out with me everywhere I go. I'll hopefully I'll put some links up. I'm not feeling lazy. So this is the Air Navigation Order 2016. If you fly drones in the UK, these are the the laws that that you have to stick to. So we have here um, you're not allowed to fly overall within 150 meters of congested area. Um, overall within 150 meters of an organized open air assembly of more than a thousand people uh, within 50 meters of any vessel vehicle or structure that's not in control by you um, or within 50 meters of any person it's the main thing obviously you're allowed to get closer when you're taking off and landing and it doesn't include yourself the, the person that you can't be within 50 meters of um, I believe that's for anything other, anything under seven and a half kilos. I can't find the actual weight limit on here. Uh, then the next article that covers, yeah, seven kilos. It's here. Um, it talks about what airspace you have to avoid, which is pretty much all of it, um, unless you can get permission to fly there. And the main one, the reason for the the Vario being fitted is you have a ceiling of 400 feet so just to simplify things I did this map of the UK this shows again I'll, I'll do a link to where I got this information from this shows the class D I believe it is airspace that you're not allowed in um, C, A, B, all the other ones you're definitely not going to get in anyway but D is the most likely one that you're going to find yourself in accidentally um, and all these areas are highlighted in pink and you can see uh, another view here of some of the areas so put that to one side that was why I fitted the Vario uh, I think it was like 14 pounds so while I was doing an order of uh, the replacement aerials for the X4R um, I saw that they did the Vario and I thought I'll give it a try so we look at the quad now here is the Vario if I can get it to autofocus this is it so it just goes in line from the X4R plugs into this then it goes out of this into the uh, KISS flight controller so I can still get all of my telemetry from the KISS controller and from the KISS ESCs and it, it also adds in altitude as well so all I did was I put that in and then I just kind of ram it in underneath here between the, the top part of the frame and the uh, flight controller so that's it um, I've already been out for a flying test of it and I'm filming this at the end so there's some footage now of me driving to the field where I fly and then some footage of the flight and of my Tyrannus. Alright guys, I've fitted a Vario, an FR Sky Vario to my quad. Uh, I did a little bit of a test out last night, it all seems to work. Um, but obviously, I can only make it vary by about two meters, so I thought today I'd give it a quick try. Um, I've set up some screens on the Tyrannus, I've got my chest mount for the GoPro, so I should be able to point it at the, the controller, so you should be able to see the, the altitude I'm at. It should also call out, I've done set points for uh, 30 meters 
60 meters, 90 meters, and the ceiling in the UK for quads is uh, 400 feet, which works out 120 meters. So that's like my final warning. If I hit that altitude, it, it, every five or 10 seconds, I can't remember, it will say to me, um, you know, what altitude I'm at, so that I know I need to, to come down a bit lower. I've also configured the the Vario, which is the, the pitch adjust for whether you're climbing or, or falling, which is really used for gliders, but I just wanted to have a, a little test out of that. And I've also configured a switch that will speak uh, the altitude every 10 seconds, I think it is. So I'm going to give those a try. Um, I'm just driving over to the, the local field, as you can see, it's I'm almost there already. Uh, it's a, a good little field, so I'm going to have a little fly there. And hopefully everything will work. So, fingers crossed, the next bit of video you see should be of the Tyrannus. And then I might land the quad and do some actual flying with the GoPro on the, the quad. Uh, it depends. It's a bit a bit foggy out, so it depends what the visibility is like and, and how much moisture is in the air. So I'll see. Twenty-three meters. Thirty-three meters. 28 meters. 36 meters. 33 meters. 31 meters. 31 meters. 16 meters. 31 meters, 31 meters. 64 meters, 73 meters. 47 meters. 20 meters. 12 meters. 8 meters. 1 meter. 30 meters, 38 meters. 8 meters 5 meters 6 meters 2 meters So that worked quite well. 
The only thing I did notice is when I landed again, it said two meters, even though I was landed. So yeah, it's gonna be off by two or three meters possibly. Um, I, th I think it's supposed to be a lot more accurate than that. I'm not quite sure why it's, it's being affected. Um, you know, why it's drifting like that. Uh, I guess I'll have to have a, a bit of a read up and see if there's anything I can find. But generally it went well. Hopefully the, the footage of the Tyrannus has come out okay. I managed to do a flight with the GoPro attached as well, so that was okay. You could see it about 90 metres-ish was where the, the fog is at the moment. So it's quite a foggy, grotty, horrible day. Although it's still pretty good weather for middle of December. Um, it's yeah it worked well I'm quite impressed so the thing doesn't weigh much I think uh, when I get back home I'll probably do a little bit of a video of the uh, device itself fitted to the uh, quad um, and I, but I'll probably put that at the beginning of the video so it'll probably be before you see me doing any of the stuff I've just done even though I did it after so hopefully it'll all work out okay um, I'll try and make it edited so it, it makes sense and flows kind of okay and uh, yeah happy flying so hopefully the video on the Vario is of help to some people uh, it wasn't the simplest to set up so if people do struggle with it mark something in the comments and I'll see if I can help you out with setting it up on the Tyrannis um, yeah thanks for watching there should be a, a link somewhere here uh, for subscribe and then maybe some videos at the top there if you could watch them like subscribe and everything that really helps and to see you tomorrow <laughs> and see you tomorrow